Hey, welcome back tubers. So a little bit of an update on yesterday's video. Uh, I had a few questions, a few things that I omitted from, omitted from the video. One of them was the word reverse charged. I probably should have added that in somewhere because that's what happened to it. The entire bank went so low for so long that this battery must have been zero volts for at least a day from what I can work out. Um, the light was running for three days, so it was the inverter and the, and the chargers and stuff like that. So the battery was pretty much flat. The other cells around it, there was two cells here that were only about half a volt when I saw it. Um, and then there was another couple of cells there that were 3.2-ish volts. So it had been, I, I dare say it would have been flat for a long time and reverse charged. So the battery was so flat, it just started charging the battery in the opposite direction, which apparently kills batteries. So I hope that clears that up. Two fuses on the new pack that I built. The fuses, I've only got 16 fuses there. Just trying something new. I'm not saying anybody should do it that way. It is just something I'm trying. I was trying to, you know, I was trying to make a cool video and trying to, and, and, and more often than anything else, I was trying to learn how to use that spot welder a lot better. I mean, a lot of other people have used it and then with varying degrees of success, but I wanted to get a, I wanted, I wanted to, to learn how to do it. So I used it for that as well. Um, I also did a drill battery the other day, which I'm going to upload probably today or tomorrow, which is a pretty average video, but um, again, it's just learning. Also, there was CID reset. So there's a lot of people that are saying the CIDs was reset on this. Now, I've got this little tester. It is an SM8124A resistance tester. So I'll take you over there now. I'll run through a few cells, maybe 10 or something along the top there, and we'll have a look. I've already done it, and it's about 40 or 50 or 60 sort of milliamp hours. No, milli ohms. I haven't really used this tester very much because I still find them horribly inconsistent. You've got to hold them at directly the right angle, and, and they've got to be the same battery voltage and all that sort of stuff. So, but what I have also done is... I've grabbed a handful of other cells that I can do a resistance test on just for a, like a ballpark. Uh, what have I got? I've got some IRC 186528As, and of course they're the blue Samsung cells I have on my pack. I've got some NCR 18650s, the grey cells, awesome cells. And they're all, you know, they're not low capacity, I guess. The blue ones there are 2500-ish. The grey one, uh, what's that, 28? This one's 29. So this is an NCR 18650A, the green. Now these ones are 2000 milliamp hour. They are INR 18650, 20Qs. So they're out of drill packs and they're high, um, high drain. So I would expect them to be the lowest resistance. So tubers, I hope that answers a few more questions. I'll jump back here now and do these resistance tests for you. Thank you very much for tuning in. Thank you for all the questions on the last video. I learned something, I know I have to do stuff better. Well, you know, we all have to do stuff better. We just, some of us, you know, don't want to admit it to themselves, but I'm more than happy to learn something new. So if I'm doing something wrong, point it out below. If you haven't already, go and look at Average Joe's video. Thank you very much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one. Yes. Uh, so one. 66, 21, 53, 61, 55, 55, 60, gone there properly, 44, 60, so that says to me the CID hasn't popped on any of those, and that one's not connected properly, right, and the second lot, make sure the polarities are in the right way, now these are all 4 volts, so we've got 
33 on the NCR 18650. Let's see if we can get a better contact on that one. 37 on the second one. Now this is a high drain one. 14, this is our the Ryobi battery. That is the INR 18650-20Q. Nice low resistance as expected. Now this one is the ICR 18650-28A, 52. That was a little bit higher at 85. And this is the NCR 18650A, 36. Thirty-five. 